Now, gravity. Science takes on Isaac Newton. You are now signed on. Here it goes! In a high saline solution in a 93 degree environment, I feel like a chunk of salt pork. Gravity. We start at the beginning of time. Where were you? The universe was created. Ah, the Big Bang. Billions of years later, our planet was born. And then, on a rainy Monday afternoon, humanity appeared. And our quest for knowledge began. Yeah. Galileo, Newton, Einstein, they all spent their lives studying something that we live with every day. Gravity. Hey, go that. How fast were those balls falling? Well, Don, the speed wasn't constant. Due to gravity, they were accelerating 32 feet per second per second. Exactly. Gravity. Shaping time and space. Bending starlight. Acting over an infinite distance. It's a universal force. Just like me. Sounds like you need a change of perspective, Don. And I know just the place, but it's 85 feet above the ground. Thirty-two feet per second per second. Does it sound familiar? No. Well, then perhaps you don't appreciate the gravity of the situation. Oh! Every body on Earth is affected by gravity. I mean, we find out when we first try to stand up. But some bodies try to defy gravity. I'm at Cirque du Soleil in Las Vegas, Nevada. I just met Danielle here, who uh, won't really stand around for an interview. Danielle, how, how exactly are you? Danielle, could you just, for a second, Danielle, does he ever have decaf? Daniel and the rest of the Cirque du Soleil troupe perform an amazing and usually sold out two shows per night. What began 11 years ago with a band of offbeat street performers culminated in worldwide touring shows and a permanent home in Las Vegas. Here you'll see eclectic acrobatics, dance, comedy, and gravitational whoa, physics. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, wait a minute. Let's deal with somebody a little bit more stable here. This is Dr. Stephen Lepp, and he's a physicist from UNLV. So, Steve, Newton says that massive bodies attract, right? Right. But now Einstein goes way past that. And what's he talking about? So Einstein said that massive bodies warp the space around them. Uh -huh. And actually, you can see a good example of the way you've warped the flat surface of this trampoline. Exactly. Steve showed me how a ball is gravitationally attracted to the massive object, me, like the planets are to the sun. Now, where'd he go? Oops. <laughs> well, that's why you're the physicist and I'm the juggler. I guess I would agree with that. <laughs> the ever-evolving current show, Mystere, has a unique mix of international performers. These beautiful, imaginative, gravity-defying stunts seem impossible. So then, why am I trying one? Wow, this backstage at Cirque du Soleil, this place is great. Now, Steve, you sure we have to do this bungee cord thing here? Oh, yeah. Show how gravity works? It's going to be a great example. Yeah, yeah, great it's example. It's going to be great. So explain to me sort of how this potential energy works. Well, you're going to start out up here. See where that trapeze is? What? <laughs> Hello. And when you're yeah. up there, you have a lot of gravitational potential energy. 